my poor avocado. Both of them. The frost got to them, and I'm bringing them in to try to give them some love. Hopefully I can restore them and make them feel a lot better. And they'll come back to me, but as for now, they don't look too hot. But this little avocado here that I put down, as you see, is starting to sprout. Yeah, I don't use the water method. I just kind of take them and put them down in some soil and let nature take its course. So we're going to put that one down here so we can continue to get some sun. Oh, hey, kitty cat. And we're going to finally take the big boys out. They are literally crowing in here. And we're going to put them outside and let them finally experience life in the real world. All right. It's time for them to get some Thanksgiving stew. <laughs> and we got to get the babies into this cage here. And she wasn't doing too good. So we took her out and put her in this pen by herself. She's still kind of limping around. But we need this cage. So we're going to clip her wings and drop her in there. Excuse me, ducks. And we're going to put the bantams in there. All right, come on. It's time for your clippings. All right, it's time to put her in. Treat her nice. All right, so we have some Thanksgiving dinner in there for them. And they're happy, but they're not getting it. And so... Let's get them in. All right. <laughs> Tee -hee. Hey. Look at the rose comb on this one. Look at you. Yeah, you make noise. Put her in. <laughs> well, yeah, him. Hey, boy. Yes. Now, yeah, we shouldn't have all these boys together, but right now they're used to each other, and so they shouldn't really be arguing and everything. And this is a pretty little girl. Look at her. Oh, those feathers. I'm not going to clip you just yet. Let's get you in. That's the big boy. It's the crow machine. Look at you. There's feathers on his feet. Yeah. Pretty bird. Pretty chicken. <laughs> All right, let's get him in. Another pretty one. Now this is probably a girl. Yeah. I assume it's a girl anyway. There's another gorgeous one. Never a bad little boy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Little noisemaker. Hey there. You ready for your new home? Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this pretty little girl. Yeah. Now mommy in law giving you a Donkachino? Remember that? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, drop her in. Alright. Hey, and you little lady. That's awesome, man. Mm -hmm. We have, all right, so we have what seems to be three guaranteed boys. Uh, I think that's a girl. Could be a boy. But either way, we have three girls guaranteed. We have those two, this one, and that one, and Ewington. Yes, yes. So we should have plenty of eggs that we can incubate and sell and also eat in springtime so if you're interested in picking up some of these bantam chicks their eggs etc let's show the babies real quick look at them they're getting their colors they're gonna go back in a house where it's warm yeah. but if you're interested in picking up these little guys or some eggs so you can incubate them yourselves then feel free to contact me we should be uh, beginning to incubate and gather their eggs around February yeah around my birthday <laughs> 
They're in. Not selective now, are you? All right, little guys. We got some frost coming. I don't want nothing bad to happen to you. So this is where you'll be living. Excuse me, ladies. Yeah. So curious. I was so curious. I could actually slide them right here. But I think I'm going to slide them a little further back. Hey boy. Okay, you guys are in here. Next thing is to give you some water and food. And I have no idea why my chickens are not laying. They're not laying anywhere. All right, well. Well, we plan on getting them some hay and bedding and straw and stuff to throw around in here. And we got this cool little light that comes on at nighttime. And also in the future, probably in a couple of days or so, we're going to be slaughtering these two copper brands right here. We already have one chicken slaughter video up. And if you want to see that, you just go ahead and click right there. But if you want to see these two get done, uh, let me know and I'll record it and post the video. If not, then I won't. I think that's pretty much it for right now. Everybody's happy, fed. She's come for her rubbies. Right? The lady's over there doing her thizzle. And all in all, it's a fantastic fall day out here in the Garden of Theodore. Well, if you enjoyed the video, let me know. Please feel free to subscribe. It does help us out a lot. And um, hit the like button, please. We enjoy it. it. Makes my daughter smile. And as always, peace. From the Garden of Theodore. And don't forget, please subscribe or just hit the like button. It helps us out a lot. And as always, peace.
from the Garden of Feodora.